Hi everyone. So today we are going to learn how to create a turning account. The turning account page looks like this. Creating a turning account is very important for your assignments because Turnitin is a website that helps you to identify the information that you have probably intentionally or unintentionally copied when you are referring to a particular source as a web page, a, a journal, anything that is related to your assignment. Now, first of all, this is Turnitin account. This is now this is a Turnitin page. This is how it looks like. Please go to Turnitin.com. All right. Now, when you are going to Turnitin.com, please uh, click on Create Account. When you create account, you are a student, so you click on Student. And then these are the class ID, class enrollment key. Okay. So what you have to do is to get a class ID and class enrollment key from your lecturer. Now, this is a sample of the class enrollment key and the class ID. So, key in class ID and enrollment key, and then your information, okay, your email address, your confirm your email address. Email address can be any email address. It can be your personal student email address. It can be your personal email address. It's totally up to you. Enter password, uh, secret question, and question and answer, question and answer. Then, I am not a robot. Click I agree. The moment you click I agree, your account has been, your profile has been successfully created. And when you log in, it's going to look something like this. Okay. Uh, uh, let me just log in uh, the account as an example. Okay. For those of you who have already has, you already have a turning account, okay, but you have not added your assignment. Okay. So you could use the same thing. You could go to uh, go get into assignment. Now this is how it looks like. The moment you go to your own respective class, you're gonna see assessment one. So assessment one here, you can have the submit button. Okay, when you click submit button, the assignment your assignment will be submitted. So I click submit. And you're gonna see your submission file. Choose this computer. Okay, you can upload your your file. How does turn in actually look like? So please don't use cut and paste, okay? Just use a single file upload and upload from your Microsoft document. Now, assuming that this is your assignment page, okay, you go to curtain, uh, you copy this. Let's say you want to copy, where does the virus come from? So you go and you copy and paste, okay? Let's say Chinese is to be blamed. Let's say, and I believe. China is to be blamed because of the culture of people eat bats and dogs and things. Okay, so you just delete this one. So let's say you want to use this particular uh, sentence. So I need to. All I need to do is just save. Okay, and all you have to do is just go and upload submission title assessment one choose from this computer. Okay, choose from this computer. Sorry, my dog is barking like just now. So sorry for that. Okay, go to assessment one. See he's barking again. Okay, upload. Okay, upload and then the turn in is gonna generate a receipt. So please confirm, confirm. And then after that, they're gonna give you a receipt. So you're gonna get, get the receipt from your email. Okay, so you can see that the similarity report is processing. It's generating how much you have plagiarized. So if this is still, this is remaining, you just have to click refresh. Okay, 81%. Now the limit we set is 25% and below. So please, as much as you can, please uh, set your, please change or paraphrase your essay so it's 25% and below or at best if best is 10% and below 10% and below is the best now you can see that the ones that I have copied it's highlighted in red this means this part you have to paraphrase and when we click on it it's going to show me exactly where I get the information okay so this is how you identify this how turn in helps you to identify the plagiarized part. All right, close it. So you can resubmit. Now you can see that here there's a notice that if you choose to resubmit a paper, your earlier submission will be replaced and the review report will be generated. After three submissions, you need to wait 24 hours. 
So for three submissions, your similarity report will be generated immediately. However, after the but through, uh, during the fourth submission, it's going to take 24 hours for this to come out. So please do not uh, have, do not do your work last minute. And then I'm going to submit, I have to submit my work tomorrow. Tomorrow is a due date and I submit by today, probably at 4 p.m. Okay, that is way too late. So please do not do that. No last minute work. Okay, so that is how, I'm going to see the same thing too. So please make sure that, you know, you don't, uh, jeopardize your assignments okay so from a lecture point of view this is how it looks like i'm gonna log in and then you will see okay let's say this is me okay so i'm gonna see that this particular one person has submitted already and the similarity is 81 percent to your name now please put your name you know your proper name don't put any names that i can identify or it's not in my uh, student name list just to show you a sample of your seniors or what they have done so when you submit it's going to look like this okay now some students will get zero percent when you get zero percent do not feel that oh is it wrong this the something wrong how can how, how is it possible that i can get zero percent it's totally possible to get zero percent okay it's not if you it's if you write it right on your own it's totally possible please but please get it below 10 percent that's the best okay that's the best if you get it below 10 percent so click on this student's assignment i'm gonna see immediately you know the percentage where you have copied This is how it looks like. Okay, well, six. Okay. Now sentences like this is fine. It's only a little bit. It doesn't really matter. The one that I'm worried is the whole chunk. This is okay because there's a lot in text citation here with names, so it's totally fine. Okay, this is also fine. No problem. Chunks like this, you know, fragments like this, it's okay, no problem. The one I'm worried about is when it's like a whole big chunk that you have to um, in that case you have to paraphrase okay i'm sure that i'm going to show you another sample okay, this is another example let's see this is a huge chunk so you have to paraphrase this this one this one no need okay these no need there's no way i can paraphrase the there's no way i can paraphrase organization so just leave it there the only concern is when it's a whole chunk like this the, these are totally fine okay now this is a whole long sentence a, a long sentence that is in a chunk a long sentence in the chunk please paraphrase them all right so that's about it that's how easy turn it in is okay so take care anything any questions please feel free to ask me let me know let our lecturers know any problems that you have thank you very much everybody take care stay safe